all right guys what's up so this is going to be a tutorial on how to do the monk and the monk 2.0 here's a, an example of how to do the monk all right guys so for the monk well the monk and the monk 2.0 they were invented by uh, my boys Eric Ropp and John Miller. They used to own the Monk Kendamas. Well, I guess they still do, but I don't, they don't sell any Kendamas anymore. And uh, they used to host these jams, the Monk Dama Jams here in Michigan. And they invented the Monk for one of them. That's what was one of the tricks you had to do. Then further along, they invented the Monk 2.0. And uh, yeah, so for the Monk, you just do a down spike okay and then you put your index finger on the bass cup and you kind of hold it straight up and down kind of like if it was can grip and from there you kind of just use your index finger to like throw it inward like this and then you, you're gonna catch it in in uh, down spike grip again so down spike then you hold it straight up then use that same index finger on the bass cup to throw it inward just a half turn and you uh, catch a down spike and at the same time what that's going to do is that's going to make the tama turn this way also make an inward turn and once you see that the tama is like perfectly straight up or it could go a little further you just bend your knees and track it and down spike it it's actually pretty easy if you look at the slow-mo uh so yeah that's easy so the harder version of this trick is the monk 2.0 so a lot of people have been asking about the monk 2.0 because dama in the d4 is coming up and by the way, anyone who lives around Michigan where they can possibly get to this event, I highly recommend going. There's going to be a lot of people there. I think uh, people that are, I know are going are like Bonds, Jake Fisher, Jake Weens, Cal Nasser, uh, Misha Logan, Stephanie Lucier. Uh, let's see off the top of my head who else is going. Oh, Kevin DeSoto, Chad Covington, whole bunch of people are going, whole bunch. That was not even, I didn't even start naming people right there. That was like barely the tip of the iceberg. So there's going to be tons and tons and tons of people there. So if you can make it out to this event, definitely go. Uh, so yeah, so a lot of people have been asking because this is one of the tricks that's going to be in the open division. And I guess in the video it was a little bit hard to see, but I'm going to explain how to do it. So. First off, go and look at the slow-mo. That's uh, very important. I think with the slow-mo, you're gonna, I recorded it at like 120 frames per second so I can slow it down as much as possible. But uh, what you wanna do, it's the same thing. You down spike and you, you go for a monk. You also put your index finger down. It's the same thing. You go for a monk, except you're gonna throw it up and it's also gonna do, but you're gonna throw up a tiny bit higher to give yourself a space. So it's good to start low, like by bending your knees and throwing it up high. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna do the same thing, but it's gonna be higher up in the air. And what you wanna do is, instead of catching, you know, a down spike further down close to the spike like this, you're gonna have to like train yourself to catch it like just at, at the end of the base cup like this just like this so that you can be able to do the the late ken flip uh after you do all of that so a lot of it is just practicing you know bending your knees going up high and practicing catching it like this so uh the best person in the world at this trick manny uh, my friend Manuel villarreal you've probably seen him around the uh the fkc the facebook kendama community and he does it like where he like throws it and he barely lets go of it barely lets go of it in the air when he's already caught it again ready to do the ken flip and that's going to ensure you have enough time so that the the tama doesn't go too far and you can't down spike it anymore because you also need it's all about the perfect timing so you have to make sure everything's perfect that the tama is perfectly up in the air and you do the ken flip when the whole 
is uh, straight up and down so you can get the down spike so it's just like the I think the hardest part is just catching it once you learn how to catch it perfectly every single time and you give yourself enough like knee space to where you can uh, do it then that's it just practice up and watch the slow-mo and I seshed this for like an hour before I did this tutorial because before this I did this tutorial I had only landed it uh, like three times so and I seshed it for like an hour and I landed it I'm not even joking like 30 times and it's actually not that hard if you put some effort into it so yeah practice up watch the slow-mo and uh, yeah all right see you guys <laughs>